It's been the topic of fierce debate in Marilla for over a year. Tonight, there is some closure to the issue of bringing bio sludge to the town. News 4's George Ricker covered a special meeting in Marilla tonight. Well, they were working against a midnight deadline when a six month moratorium would have expired. But the local law that was passed tonight makes it very restrictive for any bio sludge company to operate here. God bless America and God bless Marilla. Most of the residents who packed the Marilla Community Center were thrilled to see the town board unanimously pass a local law that places so many restrictions on bio sludge that it would make it almost impossible for anyone to bring in the byproduct of sewage treatment. A company called Quasar had an agreement with a Marilla farmer to use it as fertilizer in his fields, but other Marilla farmers and residents feared the long term effects. What's your biggest fear with this stuff? Love Canal. Look at what they done there. They can't even give the houses away. Farming means a lot to me. It, it's the generation thing. These guys from Quasar, all they are is businessmen. They don't know what it's like to be generation. There's an overwhelming body of scientific evidence out there that shows that this product is safe and very beneficial. It's been used for decades across the country and around the world. Quasar representatives insist this local law is too restrictive under the right to farm law, and it will be challenged. Any law is only good if it can stand. We still have a struggle ahead of us. So I need you to be united as a community. I need the town board to be united and be vigilant. Representatives of other towns like Lewiston, Wheatfield, and Pendleton were also here tonight watching because they plan to pass similar restrictions on bio sludge.